and welcome. Today's video is a fun video tag that Emily Noel started and that is the fantasy gift card tag to purchase whatever you wanted at Sephora and you don't have to feel guilty about it. And I feel like most of us moms out there, we always feel guilty when we do a little shopping shopping. So anyways, that's what today is all about. You guys, your girl took it insanely serious. This is a matter of fact, the third time that I filmed this video because I keep going back through and finding different things and I'm like, mm, no, overthinking, over analyzing queen here don't know about you guys but like the struggles real so um i have now officially printed it off as well it is now set in stone so let's go ahead and jump right in <laughs> said I have been switching it up I'm gonna post a picture over here so you guys can see I've been switching it up but now we're locked in and these are the things on my wish list by the way I'm gonna go ahead and put Emily Noel's channel down below for you guys so you can go over and check out her video as well the whole purpose behind this is just a fantasy fun thousand dollars buy whatever you want and no guilt no shame no worries I failed I We'll have to put about $88 of my own money in here, but that's okay. Let's just move on. Okay, so the first item, this is actually new, and this is by Patrick Star. And this is the One Size by Patrick Star Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist. Now, I watched Manny actually do a video on this, and he was testing out new products and that he had received in PR or something, and he actually showed doing this, and he sprayed everything down. He used a wipe, and I didn't put the wipes in my, in my bag, but I did put the spray because I figure I have, like, these little things, and I figured I could just use that. Um, th these are just from Amazon, so I figured I could just put that and use that with the spray, but it's, like, amazing okay so out of five stars there's three reviews and you get five stars on it it's an epic continuous mist that slips over the skin effortlessly and instantly dissolves heavy makeup without leaving skin feeling tight or dry this just looks so cool like so cool so innovative i guess but whatever it's new i want it it's in my bio next i have on here <laughs> This has actually been in my bag a couple times and then I'm like, no, don't do it, girl. It's too expensive. And then I don't, but I want it. This is the La Mer Foundation. You guys, this is $120. The La Mer Foundation has been in my bag so many times. I'm so curious about it. It's $120 foundation. And I mean, I love foundation. Like I have the oh what is it called pat mcgrath foundation i have the ysl foundation like i'm no like stranger to expensive foundations but 120 dollars i'm kind of like i'm gonna need you to clean my house cook my dinner make my beds in the morning you know i'm gonna need you to do a lot for me for 120 dollars you know what i mean so everybody talks about it they say it's just beautiful it's natural obviously i'm not into always doing natural so i don't know i, I don't know but that's in my cart as well as the La Mer powder, which is $95. This powder, everybody who uses it tells me like it is like God, like a God's gift to powder or something. It's apparently the most amazing powder on the market. And again, it's one of the things that has been in my cart multiple times, but for whatever reason, I never follow through with it. I'm going to maybe, maybe one day, hopefully, I don't know, maybe not. I mean, $95, is it really worth it? I don't know. Let me know if you guys actually have it. I mean, this will be like maybe a good therapy session to talk myself out of things as well. I mean, this is just fantasy. It's just fun, guys. Just fun. Uh, next, I have on here the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Makeup Moisture Superfoods Mask for your hair. You know, this is $36. This is new, and I'm curious about it. You guys know I love Briogeo. I love the Green Apple Matcha Shampoo and Conditioner. I use the Charcoal Hair Detox Scrub on my uh, head. The Deep Conditioning treatment i mean i love all of this stuff by briogeo and i'm definitely curious about this you guys know i do have color treated hair it's hair washing today i don't want to hear about it hence this little beauty but i don't know i'm just i'm really curious to try the mask i mean it's briogeo so you know it's gonna be good moving on 
the next item I will not buy this I will not allow myself to buy it because there is too many body scrubs out there that are way more affordable but for the reason that it I know it's going to smell like the delicious boom boom cream that I love I want it it's $42 it's the Sol de Janeiro bum bum body scrub like you guys know I I'm like a broken record as soon as spring and summer roll around I'm all about the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana and the boom boom cream like I'm always smelling like that yes you guys did tell me about the Trader Joe coconut lotion of heavenly amazing goodness which matter of fact that's what I smell like right now Whew, much less expensive and I am definitely gonna keep that in my rotation but there's just something about that Sol de Janeiro scent. You guys know I love the perfume. I love the body lotion. I have the body spray. I even have the oil, the sun tanning oil. Like I love it. And now I feel the need to be a collector or something and get the body scrub. Did you guys get it? Tell me it's horrible. I don't need it, but I kind of want it. Anyways, mm. I'm filming much later in the day guys. So I feel like my, my pep in my step is a little like I need more caffeine you know what I mean my caffeine monitor is like down here and it needs to be up here okay so then the, I feel like for a thousand dollar fantasy I need to get a, a fufu perfume in here like I you guys know I love like my affordable perfumes like dossier I love those I absolutely love them they're like 30 30 dollars or something perfumes oh they're over here let me grab them. Okay, so these, I'm not sponsored or anything. They don't even know I'm talking about them, but I love these perfumes and I will wear these quite a bit. The Oriental Woody Perfume, this is actually the dupe for the um, Coco Mademoiselle perfume. And this one is, I don't remember, the Floral 2. I can't remember what this one is a dupe for, but oh my God, it smells amazing. It smells so good. And these are like $29 or $30 perfumes. I do have my Sol de Janeiro up here. I have the Jo Malone. So I figured I might as well put another bougie perfume in here. So I put in the Replica Beach Walk and it's $130. But I saw, or I had a trial. I'm trying to get this room organized. So I had like one of those little vials and I tried it out and I was like, oh, bougie perfume I like this one so. then the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand that is $38 now Heather Austin swears by this wand she says it's absolutely amazing and during the support VIB sale her and I were chatting and I went ahead and I picked it up but I picked it up in light so it looked really like dirty on my skin and so I put in my cart the medium dark this is something that I will add to my collection eventually because I really did like the formula the formula is very sheer and lightweight very easy to blend out so I went ahead and put it in my cart to kind of remind myself like next time the sale rolls around I want that so and by the way I'll leave Heather's channel linked down below as well because I'm pretty sure she did this video too and if she didn't you still need to check her out because she is she's a sweetheart so so the next item i put in my cart this is one i kind of wanted to talk to you guys about and see if you guys have tried this this is the beauty counter counter time supreme cream it's like a peptide cream it's 89 dollars and you guys know i love skincare like i love trying out different skincare and this is one that came across my radar i think it's like fairly new it's clean and the claims on it uh, by the way, five star, four reviews, and it has five stars on it. It's a rich and hydrating face cream that visibly firms and supports elasticity while minimizing the look of lines and wrinkles. And I was like, your girl loves that anti-wrinkle anti cream or whatever it is. I love all that stuff. Like, I goop myself up in that stuff. So, let me know if you've tried it. Like I said, it has four reviews, five stars. Sounds amazing. It's in my cart. Now, this is one. This is new to me. I've never heard of this. This is... A D W O A Beauty. Let me know if you've tried it. This is another clean beauty product and the Bayo Mint Deep Conditioning Treatment. It's $36 and this has 55 reviews and it has five stars. So that was another reason why I was like going in my cart. 
This has a treatment that penetrates into the hair shaft to moisturize and condition dry parched textured hair. And I thought, you know, since I color my hair, my ends always get drier. So I thought this sounds absolutely amazing and it's good for straight, wavy, curly, or coily hair that is fine, medium, or thick. And it just, like I said, it sounded amazing. I've never heard of this brand before, but it just looks like this thick, rich, creamy coconut uh, conditioning. I don't know where I'm getting coconut from treatment. And like I said, it's a clean beauty brand. So let me know if you've tried it because it sounds amazing. Oh, I don't know who I think I am. Apparently the queen of bouge, um, the Tom Ford traceless soft matte foundation. It's $88. And the sad thing is, is I could see myself buying this over the Lemaire because that's $88 versus $120. So anyways, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Michelle Wong did a review on this and she has more dry skin. And then I want to say Risa Loves Makeup or Does Makeup did a review on it and she has more oily skin. And I kind of feel like I lean towards like Michelle's skin. I'm not super dry, but I'm definitely more normal to dry. So I need to really watch their reviews and see how it worked for Michelle because I'm definitely curious about it. I hear... A lot of good things about Tom Ford foundation so I am kind of curious about it I like to think I'm bougie sometimes so then I've got you guys know how much I love eyeshadow palettes I have the Viseart Rose Edit eyeshadow palette in my cart this is a really pretty mix of neutrals with a little pops of berry and purples in there and I think that this would be really pretty I've never tried Viseart or Viseart formula before and as much as I love eyeshadows and eyeshadow formulas from different brands I really want to try this one out this has a price tag of $39 which when you're bumping off of La Mer or Tom Ford I'm like this is so affordable I'm totally gonna buy it so I'm definitely curious and as always if you guys have tried any of the things I'm um, talking about in today's video let me know in the comment section below this has 33 reviews and out of five stars it has almost five stars it's like four maybe three four stars so really pretty and like I said I could just I feel like with this particular palette it would be a perfect everyday type of palette not that today's look is an everyday look <laughs> Anyhow, moving on to the Melt Cosmetics 420 eyeshadow palette. This has a retail value of $58, and believe it or not, your girls never tried Melt Cosmetics, and I would love to. I wanted the Gemini palette, and there was another palette that came out, um, Smoke se Sessions, maybe? I don't remember, but I wanted to try it, and I never, for whatever reason, I would it would go out of stock, and then I'd forget about it, and... Here I am. I still haven't tried it, but I definitely want to try out Melt Cosmetics. And this, like I said, it's $58. And as far as the reviews, it has 47 reviews on it. And it's like maybe four and a four stars or four and a quarter stars. So it doesn't have like the best, I guess, but it's not the worst. And the colors... <sighs> I like the colors a lot, but it is more of that grungy type of look. So I don't know how often I would use it, but that yellow and that lime green and that olive green, that's what really speaks to me in this palette. And I think that that's why I'm like thinking I want this palette. Next, I have the Patrick Ta Major Beauty Headlines Matte Suede Lipstick, specifically in the shade, That's Why She's Late. It's like a true red. If you guys know me, you know I don't wear red. You know I don't wear color on my lips. But I like to think <laughs> that I would want this and I would wear it. I don't want to hear it, guys. I need to be caffeinated and I can feel my meter. Like I said, it's like dwindling and it's like you're running out of energy. Yes. But the color is just so beautiful. And I heard that these are very, very comfortable. And again, it, this one, though, 10, 10 reviews on it. And... Um, it's got like maybe four and a half stars, so I don't know about that. Uh, last thing, no, it is not the last thing. Oh, you girl went a little like overboard. Okay. I wanted to get my money's worth and try things out that, I don't know. Okay, so the next item is the Urban Decay Naked Ultra Violet Eyeshadow Palette. It's $49, and there's just something about this that I'm like, ooh, and you know what I think it is? I think it is the actual shade Lucid and VR. 
those shades in there that's it that's all I want to try those two shades because I feel like the other shades I'm like I have it it's fine and actually I'm surprised 411 reviews and this only gets four out of five stars so I don't know but those two shades in there that's what intrigues me about it and after getting the the honey naked honey palette the reloaded palette I fell back in love with Urban Decay again so Anyways, very curious about that palette. That is part of my wish list. And then I have in here the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint, uh, the SPF 40 foundation. I think this is like a really lightweight tint of like your skin but better type of thing, which by the way, yes, I did buy that new Becca. It, it's a primer, but it's claiming to be like a foundation, but no pigment or something i don't know i was like that sounds like a game changer like oh my gosh your girl's not even wearing foundation today i have like concealer some powders on i have a bunch of different things on but there's no foundation so i'm like oh, that would be amazing i want to try it out so yeah that's coming so that's why that's not in this fantasy bag but i am curious about the Ilia foundation i hear a lot of things really good things about Ilia, and again it's one of the clean beauty brands at sephora and then this is actually sold out i have the hourglass unlocked instant extension lengthening mascara now i put this in my cart before i received the urban decay lash freak which um if i end up editing that video as they get ready with me doing this look i show you guys in that video me doing a coat without primer and me doing a coat with primer and could you even tell <laughs> it's amazing like i can use this mascara and i don't need a primer like i can just and i'm the type of person that i don't have fabulous lashes i need to coat those puppies up and with this i don't have to do that so i guess i could actually just move that to my loves and then i wouldn't be going overboard on the hourglass so there we go we brought it down a little bit next i got two more items i'm going to talk about and this is the gucci lip balm it's ridiculous i know i will never buy this because you know why I want it it's beautiful it's pretty it's Gucci I want to add Gucci to my collection but like I said it's $42 and I got sucked into the Pat McGrath lip balm <sighs> I don't have words for myself it was one of those things I do like it it does moisturize like a balm but whatever I paid for the Pat McGrath one I'm like slapping myself I'm like sis no why I don't know it was another I thought I was bougie and needed it but anywho I do want this Gucci one though it's really pretty um it's in the shade no more orchid it's like a pink shade orchid or orchid I'm really tired so it's really pretty and I think it's going to be one of those like your lips but like popsicle kissed type of look so pretty and reviews 62 reviews and it's only four out of five stars so you don't need it but I want it. And then last but not least, and a lot of you guys asked me to review this for you guys. And I think I will probably, if you guys still want to see a review on this, I will probably pick it up in the next like Sephora VIB sale. And this is the Kosas uh, Sun Show Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. It's $34. And actually they're finally all back in stock. And I have to figure out which shade I would think I would just need the medium shade golden bronze but for some reason I was thinking some people had said that they go on darker than they appear I could be wrong on that I'm not for sure this actually 127 reviews and only has four out of five stars so that kind of shocks me so grand total of everything did come to nine hundred and ninety eight dollars but after tax, I have to throw in $57.88. So anyways, like I said, I took it way serious, like super, super crazy serious. Actually, there's one thing I didn't talk about, apparently. Um, but that's fine because I kept my, I, I actually kept it under. But I was going to say the Charlotte Tilbury under eye color corrector. I am very curious about that. But I digress so anyways guys I thought that this was a fun tag type of thing and like I said this is my third time filming it and I wish I had a bit more energy but it is later in the day guys it is it's actually six o'clock so I need to go cook dinner I am starving I am hungry my family is hungry so I must go feed them and you know put my mom cape on so anyways I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are I hope you enjoyed this 
crazy rambly video and yes I did um, sunless tan again and like a ding dong I don't know what my deal is I only remember to do this and then forget the rest of my body so if I'm off that is why that is why so hopefully you decide to stick around uh, I upload Monday through Friday over here at 12 15 like I said I do try and do get ready with me's on Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern time I don't know if this get ready with me on this look will be up on Sunday but if it is turn on that notification and you won't miss it I also have a second channel hot mess mama vlogs where I put up random videos I have not been feeling the best guys so I didn't put one up last Wednesday Thursday or Friday and I have it today either so eh. anywho I'm hopping off for now I'm doing my rambling so until next time friends as always I hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from Kentucky Mwah. Bye.